So you try to update the UEFI BIOS on your Gigabyte motherboard and you are doing it the correct way, you unzip the BIOS file on a thumb drive, then you boot into your existing BIOS and launch QFlash utility from there. However, it throws you an error, not able to update BIOS file successfully. This is a specifically Gigabyte error and actually the age of the motherboard doesn't matter. I've seen this error in 2016 models, 2017 models, 2019 models, 2022 models, and the most recent one, 2023 model. And all of them show the same error when you try to update the BIOS, but later models show it in a more visually and aesthetically pleasing way. Glad to see that Gigabyte is consistent in plumping out quality products. Anyway, maybe the BIOS is too new. This particular user skipped 10 updates spanning roughly 5 years. So let's try to update to a previous version first, since some motherboards do require to first update to a specific version and then to update to the latest one, but the error is the same. And no, the thumb drive is ok, it's a FAT32 formatted thumb drive. And actually the BIOS version F14 we are trying to install supports BIOS updates from NTFS file system, so you don't need a thumb drive anymore. You can do it directly from drive C. So after we install F14 from a thumb drive, every consecutive update may be installed directly from NTFS drive C, if there will be any more updates, that is. Anyway, this error has two main causes, a very specific one and a general one. Let's start with the specific one. It has to do with RGB of all things. And I'm not speaking about the RGB that's built into the motherboard. That's totally fine. But if you have an external hub for fans, for example, which is connected to the motherboard's USB header, that may cause an issue. Such hubs are available from many manufacturers, Cooler Master, for example. This particular build indeed does have a hub from Aerocool. However, even though it supports being connected to the motherboard USB header, in this particular case it is not connected. It only receives power from the computer power supply, but it is not connected to the motherboard. However, if you have a hub that is connected to the motherboard, try disconnecting it and see if this fixes the issue. If you are able to update the BIOS without the hub being connected to the motherboard, after the update is complete, you can connect the hub back to the motherboard. Anyway, this solution didn't help in this case, so let's dive into the general solution for all Gigabyte owners. My understanding is, if you have your BIOS settings saved as a profile, then there is a potential risk that the PC will not boot if the profile made for older BIOS is applied to the newer BIOS and some settings may have changed or become obsolete. And that is why it refuses to update, just to make sure it can still boot. So all you need to do is to clear all the settings by first selecting the load optimize defaults option. When the default settings are loaded into BIOS, you don't even need to reboot or enter BIOS again. Just head straight to BIOS update, use the BIOS file that you have extracted from the zip, download it from Gigabyte site to the root of the USB thumbstick in this case, and the BIOS we are trying to update is the latest for this particular board. It's version F14, and it wasn't updating, it threw that error, and now it flashes just perfectly. And after a while, we get an updated BIOS. So that's how you solve this problem. I am the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells.